Alright, uh, so you clicked on this video probably wondering how to get a player indicator because you probably playing your games, you know, you probably in the in your park, you know what I mean? And you see like fire or a diamond or maybe uh like a sparkle or like a fox under people's feet and shit. So you're probably wondering how do they have these new different player indicators. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what exactly to do to get your player indicators. There's also two locker codes that you got to put in i'll show you guys how to do that at the end of the video but the first thing you got to do is talk to robin so the quest is by robin he's gonna text your phone and say all this right here so what you're gonna want to do is just continue with the story and uh continue talking to robin he's gonna give you some quests to do in my career which are pretty easy to do and so what you want to do is just do those quests and you'll get uh the player indicators so like i said earlier there's gonna be two different um locker codes that i'm gonna be given at the end of the video towards the end of the video so if you want a diamond or if you want a star under your feet what you have to do is go towards the end of the video for a player indicator also what it comes with is an electric uh green animation so when you green electricity comes at the top of your screen so if you that's what you want um uh, you gotta go towards the end of the video so for uh, a horseshoe or a sparkle or um you know uh like everything else you gotta come to robin as you saw right there and he's gonna send you the wheel so first thing you want to do is go to the stores and promenade promenade or something like that and go to the wheels which is in the back left so uh this is actually gonna cost 15,000 vc so the first step to getting everything else uh you have to pay 15,000 vc so uh if you don't have that that's fine you could go to the end of the video and get a star and a diamond from the locker codes which are totally free but this uh certain thing that gets you three different ones um you gotta come to uh what's it called wheels and get a skateboard or something you gotta get something from wheels and then you have to ride it which is the first quest that robin is gonna give you which is really really easy if you have 15,000 vc in this game really it's not even hard to get 15,000 vc all you gotta do is you know what i mean get the skateboard and ride with it and you get a notification on your phone meaning you did it and then you could go back to robin so before I go back to Robin, what I usually do is check my phone, see what he sends you, because uh, he's going to send you messages. So uh, right here, I'm going to open my phone, go to my messages, and as you see, Robin's talking again. He said, uh, cool wheels, can I get a ride? Or, uh, you know, he's always cracking jokes in the messages, but really, you could just skip that, um, to be honest. And then, so what you're going to want to do is go back to Robin, and he's going to give you the quest where he's going to give you three different a player indicator so yeah he's gonna tell you that he has a challenge for you which is the quest that he's gonna give you and then he's gonna tell you about the three indicators that you're gonna be able to unlock so right here i go to him you got the first thing you have to do is get free throws uh in my career so uh you're probably thinking like damn how am i gonna make sure that i get eight free throws in my career right but i have a method for you uh so it's way easier so you don't have to do too much i got a method for you to um actually get free throws right away it's really easy so just like you always thinking like how am i gonna force a free throw but then i realized if you call for a screen or if you call for an iso and literally try to force a layup or force a dunk and they're uh, near you if they're close enough they will foul every time just it's just like what the ais do bro it's just how the game works depending on um how like how your dunk is and all that uh you're probably gonna get fouled most likely me i'm a playmaking shot creator and my driving layup and dunk aren't too high my drive driving layup i think is a 70 my driving dunk is probably like a 70 or 60 so every time I try to force a dunk or force a layup, uh, the bots usually uh, foul me. So I, if you do this like the entire game, you're most likely going to get all eight of your free throws and it's going to be really easy to get all your free throws. So uh, that's the first quest to actually get eight of your free throws in my career. So all you have to do is go to my career, force a, lot, a layup or a driving dunk and get fouled. Then once you shoot all your free throws, you go back to Robin. So once you complete this after the my career game you get a notification type of thing on the side where it says you get an accessory 
one of your rewards is what you get is gonna say you get an accessory so once you get that notification you can go straight right to robin for the next quest for the next uh accessory which is uh the next uh player icon so if you don't want all of them or if you just want one whatever the first one is i'm not sure which one it is but you can just do the first one if that's what you want to do or then you can go to the next one and do that one and um yeah so that's how you get uh your accessories so as you can see uh, i'm gonna go back to robin and he's gonna give me another quest to do in my career which i have another method for you for all of the quests that he gives you I have a method on how to do all of them and you're gonna see exactly how to do it uh at the as fast as possible too so i'm gonna go right back to robin he's gonna have something there and he's gonna give you another quest to do so once you click on robin then he's gonna tell you that you gotta shoot three three points from the uh, three point line in my career so that is obviously easy especially for my build because i'm a playmaking shop creator for you uh it might be harder if you're a center or if you're something else but um what you want to do is go right back to my career and then try to get three three point shots if you're playing against shot creator it's going to be very very easy uh and there's a method on how to get free shots when you're uh, playing against ai in my career so i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that so the game starts as you can see the game is gonna start i have zero points and all i'm gonna have to do is jab step twice and get a free shot or use a screen and walk to the left literally walk and it will be a better screen for you to get open if you're a playmaking shot this would be very easy if you're a center it might be a little bit harder but all you have to do is call for a screen or you can hold the ball and jab step twice like uh flick your right stick up twice while you're holding the ball and your player will put his foot forward the ai will back up and you will get a free shot so i'm gonna show you guys me getting my other two points right here so we get another possession i ask for the ball and i'm gonna ask for uh, a screen i'm just gonna walk or he walks away so uh i'm gonna just call for it again i'm gonna walk to the to the screen and literally shoot and it should be a free shot but i missed this one so i'm gonna show you guys my other two shots so as you can see for these next two shots i'm gonna call for a screen walk over towards the screen just a small little bit slowly you get wide open for the shot and i get these two free shots right here uh for playmaking shot it's really easy but uh if you're big uh it's gonna be a little bit harder but after that you can't save or quit you can't quit the game what you want to do is hold your steal button and you can uh like foul personal foul to get a foul out of the game as you can see they take you out and you just hold your square button and you get fouled out of the game so once the game is over you get your notification on the bottom left um and then uh I, I, you go back to robin so i get my notification at my bottom left and then i go back to the lobby to go talk to robin like i said i check my phone because robin's gonna be texting you throughout the whole thing he's gonna try to crack jokes in your in your dm so robin's type sus because he's always in your dms cracking jokes and trying to win you over and shit like that but like he says he says saucy uh for the win he says your name for the win you made it look easy hey there mr new drum roll challenges for you which is uh, the next challenge he's gonna be giving you um once you go over to him so he says i do write all challenges uh for you before i sleep hey yo so robin's really sussing the messages and shit like that and he says yeah i need you to come uh for a tougher challenge and then he's gonna say yeah come over for a challenge so what you're gonna want to do is go back to robin and go pick up the challenge that he's gonna give you so uh once you're done being on the phone you go back to robin and click on robin for the next quest and what he's gonna do is actually ask you to commit a personal foul in the next game so what you want to do is go right back to my career and like i said earlier all you have to do is hold your steal button and you personal foul uh on the person who has ball so this quest is actually the fastest and the easiest to do literally all you do is is go get your foul so once you do that you get into the next game and you're gonna hold your steal button uh in front of the person who has ball and you're gonna commit a personal foul once you do that two times in one quarter they're gonna take you out of that quarter and then once you do that for all four quarters your game is over so that's the quickest thing to do is hold your steal button and get your personal foul done done your game is over and you go back to robin to get uh get your last and final uh uh player icon
So like after every challenge that you complete, he's gonna text your phone. He said, I am so impressed by your foul behavior. Like I said, he cracks jokes on every challenge that he makes you do. So once you check your phone and skip all that, then you, you can go back to Robin and you're not gonna have any more quests. You can go to your uh, player, uh, your jump shot splash, and it's gonna show you all of your icons. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys at the end how to get a diamond, how to get a star and how to get electricity um for a jump shot animation so this is what it looks like the ones that this challenge gives you is the sparkle the fox and the horseshoe uh the star you get from doing a locker code and there's another one which is a diamond that you also get from a locker code i'm gonna show you guys the diamond and show you guys all the locker codes to put in so that you can actually get those as well so right here, I'm just going to show you the two different uh, locker codes that you're going to want to put in. The first one is double XP dash banners dash and more, which is actually going to give you the star and electricity, which also gives you is supposed to give you double XP and banners. When I did it, I didn't get any banners. I got the double XP. I got the star and the electricity uh, jump shot animation. Uh, so once you put that in you get those as your reward and the second locker code is 2k22 dash player dash indicator and what that one's gonna give you is a diamond as your player indicator and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what that looks like so as this video comes out so far these are all of the player indicators that you're able to get a horseshoe a fox a sparkle a star flame a diamond and a basketball the basketball and the flame you get from being a certain level and then these ones uh you get from challenges or the uh what's it called the locker code so this diamond one is this is what it looks like uh you can change the color for all of them pretty much this is the diamond and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do with the uh with the locker code so you want to go to the options and quit section and the locker codes is the third the last thing you click on there and once you do that you put in the locker codes that you want to uh, put in which i showed which are double xp dash banners dash and more or 2k22 player indicator so those are the two things that you're going to want to put in right here and then uh you'll get your uh player indicators so if this video helped you out at all all i'm asking you to do right now is leave a like and subscribe if you are new also hit that notification bell so every time i make a video you know about it first so every time i have information i give it out you'll know about it and as you can see all my socials are on the screen so i'm asking you go follow me on twitter which is at soci sons go follow me on instagram at itsons.yt follow me on tiktok if you want i'm not really on tiktok too much but itsons underscore yt subscribe to my channel and follow me on twitch so every time i'm live you could be live with me on it's sons no spaces on twitch so thank you guys so much for watching this video leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video